Today we are going to install the new DRT Motorsports RZR Pro R Tire Carrier and Adventure Rack. This rack fits the 2022 Plus Polaris RZR Pro XB Pro R and Turbo R 2 and 4 door models. Install time is 45 minutes to an hour. Can be installed by yourself but easier with a friend. With a difficulty level of beginner. Tools needed for this job are a 3 8 ratchet, a 4 mm Allen wrench, a 10, 12, and 13 mm wrench, a 16 and 19 mm wrench, a T40 Torx socket, a power drill and one quarter drill bit, a marking pen, and don't forget your safety glasses. So, gather the tools, and let's install. Note, before you begin this installation, you must remove the inside clutch and intake covers for proper clearance of the tire carrier or rack. Let's start by removing the driver's side inner shoulder seat belt mount using a 16 mm wrench on the bolt and a 19 mm wrench on the backing nut. Then, Remove the bolts and lay the seat belt over the seat, so it doesn't fall to the floor. Now, repeat this step to the passenger seat belt mount. Next, using a T40 Torx socket, remove the two bolts that hold down the bodywork, at the front of the trunk space. Then, insert the two supplied washers on the bodywork, and the two, T40 Torx bolts into the rear latch mounting bracket, and set in the rear saddle of the trunk space. Now, Line up the bolts and tighten the mount down. Next, let's move to the hinge rack mounting plate. Begin by placing the driver's shoulder seat belt mount, back in place. Then, set the tire rack mounting plate, in place on top of it. Now, line up the holes and reinstall the seat belt hardware, finger tight. Next, move to the passenger side and repeat these steps. Once in place, tighten the hardware down. Next, let's pre-assemble the lift assist shocks to the bracket mount. First, you want both the L-shaped brackets facing inward toward each other, and the shock mounting holes away from you. Then, insert the tube end of the shock as seen here, and install the backing nut, finger tight. Now tighten down the shock hardware using a 12 and 13 mm wrench.
It is important that the two shocks, and brackets, face inward toward each other when installed. Doing this allows the space needed, for proper movement. Next, grab the two supplied, long 4mm bolts and washers and slide them into the front mounting holes. The large washers install on the bottom side of the trunk with the backing nuts. Next, grab the shock set up for the driver's side, and align the bracket so the long bolt fits into the back factory hole, as seen here. Then, reach around under the trunk area, and install the large washer and backing nut, finger tight. Now, do the same with the passenger side, making sure to center the bolt in the factory hole. Moving to the rear mount on the scoop, mark the bodywork with a pen, using the hole as a guide. Now, install the two supply, shorter 4mm bolts and hardware, again, making sure that the bracket is parallel to the siding, and then, tighten down with a 4mm Allen wrench, and a 10mm wrench on the backing nut. Note, the two Heim joints come pre-installed, and we suggest unscrewing the jam nuts all the way out, and the joints all the way in to start. Then, once in place you can adjust them out as needed. Begin by setting the tire carrier in place, Heim joint end first, and then snapping the latch end into the catch plate. Next, since the latch end is locked in place, Begin adjusting the Heim joints equally until the mounting holes line up. Then, slide the bolts in place and test the fitting of the slam latch. Open and close the latch a few times making sure it does so easily, without catching or binding and also without play. Some adjusting may have to be done with the Heim joints, to dial this in for your vehicle. Once fitted to your liking, tighten the jam nuts, and the Heim bolts, using a 19mm wrench. Next, lift the rack and install each shock end into the threaded mounting holes on the inside edge of the rack, as seen here. Then, tighten down, using a 13mm wrench. Next, install the billet handle covers, by just setting them in place. Then, using the supplied hardware, install the bolts and backing nuts, as seen here, and tighten down.
Congrats, that completes your DRT, Pro R, tire carrier and adventure rack install. This rack features a box design, with tons of tie down points, a heavy duty bear claw latching system, and lift assist shocks. When used as a tire carrier, the adventure rack will hold up to a 33 inch tire securely, with most aftermarket roll cages, to keep you on the trails and running hard. Until we meet on your next DRT install, be safe out there. If you have any questions during your installation, don't hesitate to contact us via phone or email. We are here to help.